When his teachers looked at Jason, they saw different things, part perception, part reality. He slumped in his chair. He didn't always focus. He even napped in class. Some of his high school teachers interpreted that as disrespect, a bad attitude. He got suspended over and over. Stories like Jason's are common and don't often end well. Recently, the Kansas City Health Department compiled and released data on local school suspensions at an educator summit. They'd been looking for trends, and those trends weren't hard to find. I mean, to the point where you have statisticians crunching these numbers and crying at their desks. Based on what you look like, and based on your gender, the perception of behavior is different. This data is across the board. Uh, this data reflects other aspects of society. Race is a part of this. If you're a black boy, they learned, you're five times more likely to be suspended. Kids as young as preschool were being sent home for discipline um, for periods longer than 10 days. Our goal as a city is to get us to a point where all third graders are leaving third grade reading at grade level, which we know is a huge determinant of your later life outcomes. If we're sending preschoolers home for a significant amount of time, how do we expect them to be able to keep up? When you are a young person being suspended in elementary school, you're more likely to perceive yourself as not, you know, a troublemaker and not so great person. So this school to prison pipeline is a real thing. Their data also showed that black boys receive more severe punishments for the same offenses as their white counterparts. If you try to make the argument that black kids simply commit a disproportionate number of the offenses, the data wouldn't support you. That unsubstantiated theory, the mayor argues, simply plays into the idea that black kids are bad and white kids are good, and that's absolutely untrue. So what is true? Internoted psychological researcher, Dr. Jason Akonafua. His area of research, empathy and implicit bias. Implicit bias, he's repeatedly proven, is quite real and practiced empathy, very effective. The work I do is solely psychological. I, I work in uh, refocusing mindsets and improving teacher-student relationships from a psychological point, not a policy point. Okonafua and his colleagues created an experiment. They had middle school teachers take tutorials on what's called empathic discipline, methods of helping students feel respected so a teacher's false perceptions or implicit bias doesn't end up becoming self-fulfilling. And it cuts suspension rates by 50% across three school districts. Um, and so both from a policy standpoint or a psychological standpoint, that is a very large effect uh, that persists over time, over an entire school year. Uh, and so we are very uh, uh, excited about these promising results. As a result of the mayor's school suspension summit, educators from comparable schools with different rates of suspensions are sharing insights. And the groundwork is being laid to address the whys behind disruptive student behavior. One specific thing that we've done is to raise some funding from the Hall Family Foundation that we can offer to elementary schools to attend some trauma-sensitive school training, which is basically training to help uh, administrators and, and educators in schools recognize and be better able to handle students who are facing trauma. At the end of it, it really comes down to relationships. So if a young person feels that they are, have a connection with their teacher, and a connection with the staff, and they feel safe, then that might help build them up to be somebody that feels like, I can achieve, I am smart, I can do these things. The more I know about those factors or mechanisms that might be at play, I do feel more confident that we can shift the needle in the right direction. Dr. Jason Akonafua knows these things from firsthand experience, not only as a scientist seeking to close the black-white suspension gap, but as an empathetic man who used to be this kid.